PFAS stands for per and polyfluoroalkyl substances. They are the byproduct of the production of many everyday items like Teflon, uh, stain resistant fabrics, stain resistant plastics, food packaging, and many others. Over the years, PFAS have contaminated many drinking water sources around the world and their effects on human health are understudied. We still don't know a lot about the accumulation of health hazards in humans from PFAS. Two PFAS in particular, PFOA and PFOS, have been studied and are known to be human carcinogens uh, and have disruptive effects on the human endocrine system. There are thousands of PFAS chemicals uh, with different structures, different sizes. Current water filtration systems have only uh, modest uh, removal of these chemicals. We believe that the filtration technology we are developing at UNC is a promising technology to remove all type of PFAS from water. So we looked at the chemical structure of PFAS and made a resin specifically for these molecules. We tested 21 PFAS that are commonly found in North Carolina. We found that we removed above 85% of all 21 PFAS. If you look specifically at PFOA and PFOS, these are the ones that we know have the really adverse health effects. We absorb effectively 100% of those, and even some of the short chain ones that have been really, really challenging, we're absorbing 70 to 80% of those. Another great thing that we found about our resin is if you wash it with a simple methanol solution, it will then wash away those PFAS, and then we found we can reuse the resin multiple times. This technology could be used in municipal water treatment plants, but it could also be used in home systems. And this is important because about 15% of Americans, which is about 45 million people, depend on private wells. Because this is such a pressing problem right now, if we get the proper resources, we'd like to ramp this up fast and see if it really does work in these real world environments. We really need to find an answer to keep PFAS from getting in water because fluorinated compounds will continue to be made because consumers will demand them. And it's a problem that's a product of our modern society, but we need modern solutions then to that problem.